Hey guys, I'm Racing Joey's side, and I got a video for you guys, and it's uh, day three of Simulator Week. We're doing a ten, uh, quick ten lap barrier at Brands Hatch on a Zeto Corsa against some AI cars, and I'm driving a Corvette Stingray. These are all street cars I'm up against, hopefully ones that are close to this kind of car. At one of my Possibly one of my favorite tracks and, and one of my favorite cars on this game. Seriously, this car's pretty fun. Just because it doesn't have grip doesn't make it not fun. It makes it even more fun than cars that do have grip. Even though, compared to that Mustang, this car has plenty. Pretty fun car. It's against a couple Mustangs, some BMWs, and a Porsche. I guess. Just love the sound of this car. Have a listen. Such a great sounding car, if you ask me. So anyways, day three of Simulator Week. I'm gonna go all the way till Saturday, so it gives me a chance to play six games. This is the third one on a Wednesday. I was gonna play some American Truck Simulator, but just kinda ran out of time. Didn't have time to play the whole thing, so we're just doing a short 10 lap right here. And then I'll put this up, so yeah. So I guess I'll start my rants, like I always do. My ridiculous rant number two, since technically I didn't get one in yesterday, because there was a grueling race at Sonoma, but whatever. Ridiculous rant number two is gonna involve steering ratio and steering range and steering rotation on games. You can see there's full 900 that I went lock to lock to the side there. My problem is not with that. My problem is with games like Horizon Horizon. If you look at the end car, it's locked to this right here, what I'm showing you now. It's stuck there. That's that's going to be your maximum turning, even though it's a full steer, fully steerable car. You know what I mean? No, even if you're turning, all right, let's say you're putting half your rotation to the front wheels in, it's only going to show up like that. So 90 degrees, it'll only show up as 45. Until you, not your full, 90 degrees will be 100% lock to lock, which is just stupid nowadays. This is 2017. That game that came, that Forza Horizon 3 came out in 2016, and it still has steering like that. And no car, as far as I'm concerned, in the world has steering, unless you count go karts that are like that. It's just my rant because it pisses me off. Because it throws me out big time because I have to be able to see my visuals. And I know it's probably not a big deal to most most users because, well, you don't need to be looking at your hand, I guess. But you got people out there with VR and this will throw them off because if you're turning more than 180 or 200 degrees in game and you don't see your character doing that, it kind of confuses you. Oh man, I butchered that corner. Badly. God, I just love driving this car. I love street cars on a set of cars more than I do race cars. But yeah, that's today's big gripe is uh, the steering locked a lot. If you look at most street cars, they're either 900, 720, anywhere from that range all the way to 1080, which you'll see in more bigger trucks and even bigger number when it comes to actual big rigs and stuff that actually, you know, have that kind of steering. I really hate games that make the AI get harder as the race goes on. Make it hard from the beginning or not, 
so I can set accordingly. It's not stopping. Man, this thing sucks com compared to a ZR1 or regular. All right, let's focus on trying to catch them. That's so fun. If you don't have this game, I would consider checking out, checking it out because it's great. When it comes to racing AI with street cars, like I said, race cars feel kind of wonky on here. Not exactly well represented. Except for Group C. Group C is pretty fun. Like I said, games like uh, this are uh, actually highly moddable. There's a few moddable tracks, a few modded cars, Madons, a whole bunch of other nonsense. That's cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna play tomorrow. I haven't quite got that far yet, but like I said, let me try to catch these guys. Another thing I like about Soto Corsa is the tracks. They're really good detailed graphic graphically as well as accurate in terms of because of the of the track surface, I mean, because of the laser scanning. It's not stopping still, come on. But it gives you kind of an accurate representation and compare if you want to compare the track surface to say I racing, they're pretty uh, pretty similar, believe it or not. I actually did a video before comparing a Spa and the McLaren on this car, or on this game, and uh, same thing on Iris in the same type of car. But what was the thing about the steering again? <laughs> a lot of people tell you you don't need to turn that much, and it's true you shouldn't be turning more than what you need to make the corner but it's nice to know that it's supposed to be accurate not 90 to each side no matter what I can go into more detail about this same thing with controls like with controllers uh, speed is uh, yeah speed sensitivity makes it just horrible it needs to be taken out of every game out there like yeah that deals with driving but I'll also touch on this steering topic again more tomorrow when I play your American truck. Oh yeah, American truck? So I can uh, get in more detail. So again, let's try to catch the guy. this guy now that I caught the other one. Let's catch him. God, I love the sound.
Anyways, after Simulator Week, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably, uh, like I said, upload to both channels. Play various games and go from there. I guess I'll put a link of uh, the mods I have on this game, as well as uh, some of the add-ons I got. It's not stopping. Oh, I got away with that one. But yeah, I also put a link to my other channel, which is SRC Gameplay, so yeah. So far, all that's on there is Gran Turismo from Gran Turismo Month. I just love this car. It's always on the edge, no matter what. I would have went street tires, but unfortunately the AI doesn't seem to pick them, at least in my experience. So while I'm here, uh, next game we'll cover, or one of the games that'll be in this week, either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, will be Dirt Rally, and it's not really a simulator in a way, but it's close enough that I'll consider it one. That's just a best rally experience we have today I mean get to this date I mean we got Richard Burns rally but that's an older game and I really don't have the time to install it so it doesn't count because that's pretty much the best rally simulation we'll have for a while still Obviously, the WRC games, they suck. To be honest, they're not even close. They don't feel right to me. So I'll consider the rally a simulator and put it in this week some sometime. Alright, I gotta get away from this guy. They're catching me. We're almost correct there. So if there's any other game you would like me to play, say next week or whatever, on either channel, give me a recommendation. Because I think here in the next week or three, I'm going to be real busy with iRacing. Because uh, Daytona 24 is coming up. Gotta start getting practice for that and get things together. And if you're on iRacing looking for a team, supposedly for a GT3 car, Go ahead and just send me a message or a comment on uh, YouTube and I'll get to you. Obviously, if you're used to my iRacing stuff, you'll see my name and you'll know where to look it up. I would say and I just don't know. I'd have to spell it out for somebody and they're passing me. Oh, he tried. I'm gonna catch this guy before the race, the one that's in front of me. I'm trying. See, that's the thing I love about Assetto Corsa, is you're able to catch cars really easy compared to other games because you can kind of feel what they're gonna do. Unlike dead cars that you kind of feel on some other sims. Looking at you, Project Cars. Oh no, I said something bad about Project Cars. Here, income, here comes the incoming uh, hate. And blasphemy. No, I just personally do not like the physics on that. They don't feel right. They're weird. But again, like I said, like this, the street cars do feel better on Project Cars. And who knows, maybe that'll be one of the... Friday or Saturday's game. Don't know yet. Or I can stay up later one of these days and do some farming sim and stream it. Yeah, I should get farming soon. And they can pretty much help me out with learning everything because there's a lot to it. Kind of. And if I ever get 
VR or something similar, I guess. <laughs> Probably play some Elite Dangerous on my uh, other channels at some point in the future. Or who knows, maybe even here on uh, Sim Racing Chewy Side. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you're having as much fun as I am for this whole week because I just, these are, these are my kind of games. This and side scrollers. So I'm just going to end, you know, me talking. I'll shut up so you can watch the rest of this race. And that'll be the end of day three of Simulator Week. And as usual, don't forget to sub. I'll put the links and stuff that I mentioned earlier down in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching. Tim Racing, Chewy Side.